Hi, and welcome to our new series on personality development. So, which aspect are we going to discuss on this time? Can you guess? Yes, you are right. Grooming. The last video we discussed on the personality circle. We shall focus on one aspect, which is grooming. So, in our video, we shall discuss on 1. Definition 2. The do's and don'ts 3. Arising conflicts 4. Benefits 5. Role plays So, let's get started. Definition the ability to enhance one's physical appearance and personal hygiene to present oneself in a polished, professional, and socially acceptable manner. It involves attention to details such as clothing, grooming habits, hygiene, posture, and overall presentation, which contribute to creating a positive first impression and building confidence. Do's and Don'ts of Grooming Do's Personal hygiene Bathe regularly Brush teeth Wash hair and groom nails to ensure cleanliness and freshness. Dress appropriately. Choose clothing that is suitable for the occasion, fits well, and reflects personal style while adhering to dress codes and professional norms. Men. Facial hair. Keep hair clean, well-groomed, and styled appropriately for the setting. Trim and groom facial hair neatly. Women, a soft touch of makeup can really brighten the day and add to that feeling of confidence. Accessories attention to details like ironed clothes, polished shoes, watches, jewelry, bags, etc. Smell pleasant. Use deodorant, perfume, or cologne sparingly to maintain a pleasant scent without overpowering others. Now for the don'ts. Neglect personal hygiene. Avoid neglecting personal hygiene practices, such as skipping showers or neglecting oral, hair, skin, nails hygiene. Overdress or underdress. Avoid dressing too formally or too casually for the occasion. Dress appropriately based on the setting and context. Overlook details. Avoid overlooking small details such as wrinkled clothes, scuffed shoes, or visible stains, as they can detract from overall appearance. Overdo perfume or cologne. Avoid using excessive amounts of perfume or cologne, as strong scents can be overwhelming and off-putting. Conflicts in grooming. Conflicts in grooming may arise due to differences in personal preferences, cultural norms, or organizational expectations. Some common conflicts include Differences in dress codes or grooming standards between individuals or organizations. Conflicting opinions on appropriate attire or grooming practices. Misunderstandings or disagreements regarding hygiene habits or personal care routines. Role plays are effective tools for practicing grooming skills in realistic scenarios. Here are a few role play scenarios for practicing grooming. Dress code dilemma. An individual must choose appropriate attire for a formal event while adhering to the dress code. Hygiene habits discussion. Two individuals discuss personal hygiene habits and share tips for maintaining cleanliness and grooming. Professional presentation. An individual prepares for a job interview by selecting appropriate attire, grooming hair and facial hair, and practicing good posture and body language. Feedback on appearance. Providing constructive feedback on another's appearance, offering suggestions for improvement in grooming habits or clothing choices. Conclusion Grooming is an essential aspect which helps to, to develop appearance, confidence, and professionalism. Attend to personal hygiene, clothing choices, grooming habits, and presentation. Create a positive impression and enhance their self-image and social interactions. Through practice, feedback, and continuous improvement, we can refine ourselves. So, watch out for our next issue on personality development where we discuss 1. Definition 2. The do's and don'ts 3. Arising conflicts 4. Role plays So, what are you waiting for? Your future is waiting for you. Follow the links and subscribe to our channel for updates and new content on personality development, corporate English, 
vocabulary, advanced English conversation. So, see you next time. Bye.